Well, hey guys, I have a grocery haul for you today. So we are doing about a three week grocery haul. Um, this is not completely everything for this portion of the haul. However, it is the bulk food items. Um, we go to a bulk food store and I stock up on spices, some flour and um, some different specialty ingredients. And then this is a trip uh, that I'm just gonna show you to Walmart. So I'm gonna share with you what I picked up today. I didn't have a list, I didn't have a meal plan. These are items that I know that we're out of and some are some things for quick dinners for the next three weeks and um, just a lot of ingredient type foods that I think I'm gonna be able to pull together some meals. I'm gonna flip you around and share with you what I picked up. First, let me share with you the food and then um, I will share with you all of the non-food items that we bought. Okay, so we got these uh, Johnsonville brats. Um, it is coming on like grill season slash summertime with like really quick meals wanting to have. I guess it's not really summertime, it's more spring, but we're coming out of winter and these are gonna be great. And same with the hot dogs. We got two packs of these natural selection hot dogs. My kids flip for hot dogs. They're very rare for us, but when we do, I do like to get this natural brand um, and they were really excited. So. Then we got uh, some Black Forest ham, uh, deli meat, some salami and pastrami, Swiss cheese. So the pastrami and the Swiss cheese are for a recipe called, oh, it's totally escaping me, uh, Reuben in a Bowl, and that's a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. My husband loves it. He requested it, so that will be for that, and also the cabbage. And then we got um, 16 cheese strings. Um, and some ground turkey, mushrooms, goat cheese. We got four Asian pears. This was Aubrey's request. A yellow pepper, pepper, <laughs> lots and lots of zucchini. So I'm probably going to make a recipe, a uh, Trim Healthy Mama recipe called, um, what's it called? The Trimtastic uh, Zucchini Cake. It tastes just like an amazing chocolate cake. I'm going to use that for that, and then also I have a spiralizer, so I'm going to make some zucchini noodles, and then whatever I have left will just saute throughout the weeks, um, probably the first week or so, um, for side dishes. Three romaine hearts, that was the cabbage, and four Fuji apples. We'll probably get more apples from Costco, as well as some more fruit and vegetables. A pack of radishes, I love to roast these. A uh, peg of frozen broccoli, two bags of this chopped spinach. These things were all on sale, so all the great value vegetables were on sale for $1.97. So I did get a couple, like, I use one bag of these for the lazy lasagna, which is a Trim Healthy Memo recipe. Um, so basically I can make two of those lasagnas. Uh, corn, some peas. This is what's for dinner tonight, a roasted chicken. Papaya and pineapple, both dried, and I use these in homemade granola bars for my family. Um, organic palm sugar, this is kind of what we have replaced white sugar with in our home for my husband and my kiddos. I am using more of a stevia type, um, a low glycemic sort of uh, sweetener. And But for the family, I use this coconut palm sugar. Some vanilla, and this is something I think I'm gonna end up getting at Costco. I'm going through this so fast. Um, last time I checked, it was like $25 at Costco though, but the bottle is significantly bigger and this was like $8.88. Um, three Hunt's pasta sauces, um, some soup for my husband for work. So this is the Campbell's Chunky Beef and the Campbell's, uh, what is this? Chicken corn chowder. A bag, a bag, um, a container of um, baking cocoa and some sauerkraut. I really want to make my own sauerkraut, but I'm just, it's not on my radar yet, so I'm, I'm just, I'm buying it for now. Um, I had bought a sour, um, a cabbage to attempt to make it and I just never did. So I'm going to get up my gumption and learn how to do that. Um, and then lastly for food items, we got some organic, unbleached, all-purpose flour. So... That is it for this portion of the haul. Then I'll show you the items that we picked up at the bulk food store. Okay, so here is the bulk food items. Let me walk you through what we got. So this is a bag of whole wheat pastry flour. I use this for um, muffins and also in our homemade granola bars. 
<laughs> um, a bag of whole wheat um, white flour. Whole wheat white flour. <laughs> I could uh, trouble reading my own writing. Um, some pecans. So I'm making a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. Um, it's pecan bars. And whoa, this bag was like $8. Ridiculous. So yeah, <laughs> those pecan bars better be really good. A big bag of organic spelt flour. So I could get a bag about this size at my health food store. Um, and it is $21 and this whole bag was, oh, I think it was eight. Uh, no, it wasn't eight. Let me check my receipt. It was $9 and 60 cents. So it's much more economical for me to buy this, um, in the bulk section of our bulk store. Um, okay. So then I got some chili powder. We make our own taco seasoning. So that is good. And then some golden raisins. I was just looking for like regular raisins, but I couldn't find them. And then they were around the corner in a different spot. And then I got some cumin, again, for our homemade taco seasoning. Some seasoned salt. I love to put this on hamburgers. It's so stinking good. Parsley and oregano. And then lastly was um, these coconut chips, and these are delicious. They have different flavors. There's sriracha. There's a plain one, which I usually get, but this particular bulk barn didn't have. Um, so this is the honey one, and those will go in the granola bars. So this is it for the bulk portion of the haul, and the total was um, $32.86. Okay, guys, here is the stuff portion of my haul. I picked up a new garbage bag, garbage bag, garbage basket for the, um, the bathroom, and this will, the camera, this color's not coming up that great, but it's sort of like a dark, uh, taupey sort of color, and that will work really well in our bathroom. We also needed some knives. We only have two knives. One is the big, um, Santuku or Santoko, I'm not sure how to say it knife and it pretty much does everything for me and then we have one little paring knife. Um, so I opted to get a KitchenAid paring knife which is the brand of my Santoko, Santuku knife um, and it's lasted me for like 10 years and that knife is still super great so I opted for the KitchenAid and then I needed a bread knife um, so I just got this Farberware one. This one was originally $30 and it was on sale for $10 and then this one I think was like $8. Um, I don't, I cut a lot of bread because I make our own homemade bread. Um, I just didn't need a real top of the line one. I needed some more uh, mason jar rings and lids for my mason jars. Um, some Dawn dish soap and this is Thai Garden. And then uh, L'Oreal Nutri-Gloss Shampoo my ride or die trust me hairspray in the number green the f number green <laughs> number four in the green um my favorite purex crystals and lavender blossom um back down here i got this little mini tongs set um i have a larger set of tongs but i think this mini one would be great for just other little jobs that I don't need the huge ones for. Um, and then a silicone spatula. This is like really heavy. I'm guessing there's metal inside of here. Um, but it's really, really nice. It was $2. I think this was $2. And then another, um, a matching spatula. And I think this was $2 as well. Um, and then some hair goop for my new hairdo. Um, and this is L'Oreal Paris um, Mineral Fix. I think that'll hopefully be good. Um, I need a new mascara. I love this Volume Express Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. It's so good. Um, so I got that. And then I also needed concealer. And this is the uh, Master Conceal from Maybelline in Light Medium. And um, I'm getting ready to make my own homemade laundry detergent. So I needed OxyClean. And I do have a video on that on my channel. Um, I am going to be using Castile soap and hopefully throughout this course of this video you'll see me pick up that um, and then I need some other ingredients. So anyways, that is the stuff. I did pick up Aubrey some t-shirts for uh, summer so I will show you those as well. So first was this little tank top. Hello sunshine. It's so cute and it feels like really, really nice cotton. This was $6 and so is this one. She loved this um, little pineapple tank top. 
And then we needed some stripes, of course. So we got this aqua and white stripe and then this kind of pinky, orangey striped one as well. And these are both $4 each. So then there was this watermelon one, which is so stinking cute. I just, I love it. Um, and then this flamingo tank top. And these are like long sequins, just so cute. And then I got her these uh, capris to go with them. And so they match this and they match this. And they even go with, I mean, they pretty much, they really mix and match. So they can kind of really, I mean, she'll be really orangey there, but um, they go with everything. So that'd be fun. So that is a good chunk of her spring summer wardrobe. Yay, Walmart. Well, hey guys, it is Costco haul time. Uh, it is eight o'clock at night. My hubby just came home with all the Costco goods. Um, he went a little rogue with my list um, and got a bunch of snacks for himself. So this is the Costco haul. So we got uh, our ground beef, mozzarella cheese, and marble cheese. I always want to call this cheddar, but it's marble. Grapes, bacon, uh, two dozen eggs, two packs of cottage cheese, they come in a two pack, and then two bags of milk. And then he got this uh, barbecue sauce. This was a rogue item. <laughs> um, some ancient green tortillas, a big pack of applesauce. These are in the individual cups and these are all unsweetened and I think I shared before, this is actually a better deal for me to buy at Costco than to buy all of these packs individually at the grocery store. Unless they are on a really big discount and they are not this week and yeah. Okay, so then we got um, two big containers of cream cheese. Some, I think these are, what is this? Um, beef jerky, <laughs> um, kiwi, apples, and we love the Costco apples. Um, hamburger buns and hot dog buns and then he got some gum cream for coffee there are two of these one is already put away I started putting groceries away and he said are you gonna film a haul and I was like oh my gosh yes so um, there are also three packs of butter and those are all put away at this point some clementines is this a bad one this is a bad one I think I, I told him last time I said you better squeeze these We'll have to check on this little fellow. Um, and this is one of his snacks. He loves jujubes. Some pears. Um, honey bunches of oats. Blackberries and raspberries. <laughs> Another hubby snack. Ice cream sandwiches. And then over, over here there are a Greek yogurts. Broccoli. Um, frozen broccoli that we absolutely love. Fruit Loops. These are... Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all, this man went rogue. <laughs> See, I try not to bring this stuff into the house because my kiddos will want to eat it all and this just isn't the way I want to fuel them up, but you know what? It's all good. It's all good. They will not die. It is all good. Um, veggie straws and then two pineapples. Oh, and then we also got, here you put it away, and a bag of the frozen chicken tenders we really really are loving these as opposed to buying the chicken breasts um, they're just a smaller portion and um, you know it just feels I tend to cut up the chicken breast anyways and put them on a salad or um, eat them you know individually or whatever and it's just easier to have the tenders than the breasts um, and here are the butters this is everything I don't have a meal plan, but these are all ingredients that we always use in recipes. I've got lots of fruits and vegetables, especially frozen things, um, and we'll be good to go. So anyways, this is our haul for the month. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!